Hi everybody, how y'all doing? This is Carla. Welcome to my week inspirational message. Actually, this is one of two. I'm going to do another one after this one, but I want to hone in on this particular one. And it actually, it actually, it it could be seen also as a devotional because I was inspired to do this because uh, the verse of the day is Philippians 4 and 13. Philippians 4 and 13. And it's a very familiar passage. We say it all the time. And as I was reminded, however, this verse is very much taken out of context a lot of times. Um, it's. Let me read it. Let me read it first. Um, this is Paul talking to the church at Philippi. He wrote this letter to them while he was in prison. And um, let me give the background. He, he, he began this, this letter, this particular letter, with encouraging the church to, um, uh, well, at least two ladies in the church were bickering. They were at odds. They were arguing. And now he's in prison, but this is the church that he started. And he loves them and care about them. And he asked them to get along, to work together, okay, for the good of, of the body. All right. But Paul goes on because the church of Philippi, they were very generous with him. And they blessed him in many ways. And they sent him what he needed they sent him gifts and i'm going to read um start i'm going to start from verse 10 this is philippians chapter 4 i'm going to begin at verse 10 and i'm reading from the uh, new living nlt the new living translation version of the bible okay it says how i praise the lord that you are concerned about me again i know you have always been concerned for me but you didn't have the chance to help me. Not that I was ever in need, for I have learned how to be content with whatever I have. I know how to live on almost nothing or with everything. I have learned the secret of living in every situation, whether it is with a full stomach or empty, with plenty or little. Verse 13, for I can do everything King James Version says, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Now, a lot of people use this verse in a way that that, that is understandable. Okay? In fact, I used to use it every morning with my children as they went to school. And I still recite it. And um, the way that we use it is not wrong it's a good thing to, the, to do because we use it in saying that I can accomplish whatever I can accomplish I was hearing someone today saying that you know athletes put it on their helmets on their jerseys or whatever and meaning that you know they can do they can they can um complete this test they can be champions they can be victorious all of that is true it is but the context in, in which it was written or the reason that it was written and we need to always understand the background or why something was said who it was said to and what it was meant to be but paul was letting the church know that in every situation that i've been in god was there god brought me through there were times when i didn't have anything there was times when I had a lot, but I've learned to be content in whatever state I am. He was in prison and he was saying that he was, he's content because, because I can get through this because I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. His strength comes from God, comes from the Lord. And I can do this because I've been, I've been in, in tight situations. Before. I've been through hard times. I've been without, but I've also had have had a lot. But whatever, whatever place God chooses to put me, 
whatever my journey uh, is destined for, wherever I am, I can get through it. I can do what I need to do to get through. Okay, so this is where I am right now. And, and because I'm here right now, I'm content, but I can get through it because of Christ. So I want you to know my inspiration to you is to encourage you to know whatever, wh wherever you are, whatever place you're in, whatever it is that you can be content because God's going to get you through it. God's going to get you through it. You might not be facing that you need to win a championship, you know, or go get this job or, or whatever. But where you are right now is more of a mindfulness of right now that I can get through this. I can do this. I'm facing a lot. I don't know where my, you know, the money's going to come from for my food. But God brought me through before. I'm just saying. That's something that might be where you are right now. I don't know where you are. I've had before. So I know God can do it again. Right now, I'm struggling. Right now, my back is against the wall. Right now, I don't know how I'm going to get gas money. You know, this is how... Some of us live. At times we go through things. I know what it is not to have enough money to do what I want to do. I know what it is where I can't help somebody because I don't have it myself. I know what it is when I have to rob Peter to pay Paul. Y'all know what I'm talking about? I have to decide, am I going to pay this bill or am I going to pay that bill? Can I call? an extension can I pay half can I you know whatever if you've been there if you are there you can know that you're going to get through it God's going to give you the strength and he's going to give you the wherewithal he's going to give you the ability he's going to give you the means he's going to give you the resources he's going to bring it to pass because he is the one who gives us what we need so, Paul was just letting them know, you know, I thank you. And it, I, I've been through some rough times. I've been in a place where I didn't know how I was going to make it. Maybe there was the time I did need clothes. Maybe I, I needed, I, I you know, whatever, I needed shoes. I needed that, but, God, but even when I was going through that, God kept me incomplete peace and content sometimes you, you know especially if you're used to having having abundance or even just having just what you need sometimes when things happen and we're not in that comfortable place again some people we go berserk how am i gonna make it how am i gonna do this i don't you know i have to i have to pick i have to ration out uh my water <laughs> i'm i'm just saying you know i i have to stretch this you mean i can't just go in the closet and get something everything is i don't have i don't know how i'm going to do it but in god you can be content because it's going to be okay because he's going to bring you through it so i'm encouraging you right now to know that you can do all things you can get through this you will get through this you can do all things. Anything that comes your way, you can get through it. Hold on. Don't give up. Keep looking to God and remember how he's brought you through before. Remember the goodness of God. Remember that he's faithful. Remember that he loves you. Remember that he knows what you're going through. He hasn't turned his back on you. God doesn't leave us. Even when when he's quiet, when you don't, he, when you think you don't hear, even in that quietness, that stillness, he is still there. 